Okay, this is in response to a post on Talk Graphic about hand tracing bitmap images. Now, this is the hand tracing from the post. And as you can see, there's no fill here as this hand tracing is still just a line, which means that it's broken somewhere and needs to be joined up. However, um, select the shape editor tool here. And as you can see, it is really difficult to see where this line may be broken. One method, though, to make it a little easier to see is actually to go over here and select the freehand brush. Go over here and change the stroke to something that goes from thick to thin, like this one. Now you can see what happened to the package here. You can see right here, it's thick here, and it just disappears here, where it thins out. Where it's thick is where the line starts, where it's thin is where it's ending. So now we can easily go back to the shape tool Zoom in, click this end, and pull it until you get this little plus sign showing up. And we can zoom out. Now I have noticed down here, there's another spot here where it's broken. As you can see, you've got thick here and thin here. So let's zoom in here. Right there, you can see these two nodes really close together. And bada bing, there you go, one shape. That's it. Now I'm going to show you something else while I'm at it here. I've noticed that the image being traced here is this lovely fox graphic. And I'm guessing that what eventually you want to do is to have this graphic, but be able to change the color of the box. So what I've done here is I've made another quick trace down here. And I've traced each individual part of the original graphic here. So we can select each of these and I can, I'll just remove my red lines that I used when I was tracing. I'm going to click the snap to objects up here and I'm going to pull my tracing down and then just snap it on there. Now when I did this, I set this up quite quickly. you can see that it doesn't quite cover it. But if you're doing this, you can take a little bit more time at it, I'm sure. And the other thing I didn't do was his eye. But this does give you your graph. And you can click on the brown shape here and turn into a red fox. Or a blue box. <laughs> or make it a darker brown. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.